Moses, just before he died, gave a last-minute download to his people, much like a drill instructor would give their departing graduates from boot camp, to remember where they started from, what they've been through, and encourage them not to forget their training. Top of the morning to you. When we consider the concept of the fear of the Lord with the mind of love and a firm determination to get to know God better, we get real clarification from Moses in the book of Deuteronomy. This is an awesome book that documents probably one of the greatest motivating and inspiring encouragements of all time. Here's the great leader Moses just before his death trying to download to his people all that he knows and has learned from their 40 years of wilderness training. I would imagine it's a lot like a drill instructor speaking to all the new graduates that they just led through the whole boot camp experience. The DIs have watched these young people in their charge grow over time to accomplish some amazing things. They have to leave them now and they give them some last parting reminders and advice. This is what Moses was doing after leading the Israelites on a 40-year journey that should have taken only 11 days, but for their rebellious attitudes and idolatrous ways. Deuteronomy 6, verses 1 and 2, Moses' main point, Remember to keep God's commandments, statutes, and judgments when you get into the promised land and take possession. In fact, don't just remember them, but do so in the fear of the Lord. In other words, hold the Lord in high esteem, reverence Him, honor Him, and respect Him enough to do what He says. Do this so that you may live a long life. Also, respect and fear Him because you love Him with all your heart, soul, and strength, and you don't want to disappoint. Then verse 7, teach your children and and grandchildren to do the same. Keep the memories alive of what you went through to get here. Verse 11 recounts, God is going to give you large and beautiful cities which you did not build, houses filled with good things which you did not fill, wells dug that you did not dig, vineyards you did not plant. Verse 12, Moses says, Beware lest you forget the Lord and what he did for those or for you. In other words, don't even think about taking credit for it. A word of encouragement We would do well to remember what God did for the Israelites, taking them out of slavery to establish them in their own land, complete with cities and houses to make them a great nation. This was not something they deserved. After all, Deuteronomy 9 verse 7, they provoked the Lord to wrath in the wilderness. They were rebellious against the Lord. Yet he saved them out of his great mercy and grace. The same thing he did for us and can do for all those who don't deserve it. Have a great day.